For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I'd like to show you how you can print out really nicely the pins on your microcontroller inside of the REPL. So we've used help commands before, like import board, dir board, those types of things, and those will give you a, uh, a sort of big strung together single line of all the pins on your microcontroller. Uh, but over in the Adafruit forums, there was a question about some code and someone put together a really nice example, and I'll give you a link to this later, of using uh, the microcontroller and board definitions, or, or rather the microcontroller and board libraries to then uh, ask for a list, query which of those are actually pins and print them out nicely and neatly. Uh, so what I'll do is simply rerun this and you'll see uh, microcontroller pin assignments. And then we get this great list for, in this case, it's a Feather RP2040. We can see we've got boards A123, uh, the boot, which is also called, it has an alias button, uh, board D0, which is also an alias to RX, board D1, which is TX, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is also the LED, and so on. So. These are the names of the pins that you can use in your code in CircuitPython, uh, as well as some of the aliases for things that might not be necessarily silkscreen printed on the board, but are names that you can use legally. Uh, the way this is done is time is imported, board and microcontroller. Uh, we just sleep a moment to let things settle in the printout, basically. And then in the main loop, we are creating a list called board pins and then we are running through each of the microcontroller.pin uh, uh, list items. So you can do that just in regular help. Uh, and then we check and see if it's an instance of an actual pin, because some other things show up sometimes. We don't want those. We just want the ones that are actually pins. We're going to add them to this list called pins. Uh, and then we're also going to grab their aliases, which are some of those uh, alternate names like boot and button or D1 and TX. Uh, and then we can go ahead and, and print those with a nice little bit of formatting here so they look neat and happy. You could even copy and paste those into your code. Uh, if you take a look at the normal import board, say, and grab the list, this is what it normally looks like. It's not super neat. It gives you the, a lot of the info, although it doesn't have any of that aliasing stuff. Uh, but instead, if we allow the code to run here, you can see you get the perfect little list, a nice little code snippet to have on hand as a little convenience for your coding. And so that is how you can get really nice pin names out of your microcontroller inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.